Hi everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with PippinsPlugins.com, and in today's plugin review, I want to walk you through Subpost. This is a really cool plugin that came out pretty recently that allows you to easily create relationships between post types. Imagine for a second that you run a store, and you have product pages, and then you have a separate custom post type for documentation. So you have documents that you create for each of your products and you want a really easy way to connect each of your individual documents to the related product, and then also have a way to show those documentation items, perhaps just links to those documentations, directly on the product page, but you want this to all happen mostly automatically. That's what Subpost allows you to do. Now, it's obviously not just for e-commerce solutions and linking documents, but that's just a really good example that shows what this plugin can do. So it's available from subpost.com, and I want to go ahead and take you through how the plugin works. Once you have it activated, you're going to have a section here called subposts, and you can create relationships, or as they're called in the plugin, post type links. So you can see that I've created a post type link called post to pages, and so it connects post, the post post type, to the pages post type. So let's go into a post real quick, and we're going to connect pages to it. So in this case, going back to our example a moment ago, the pages are our pieces of documentation that we are connecting to our post or our product page. So you can see down here, we have a section called post to pages. And we can simply click add new page if we want to create a brand new document or a brand new page, or we can add existing ones. So let's add an existing page. This then takes us to a page that lists all of the different items from our pages post type and we can connect any one of these that we want. You notice that if you hover over one, it says link, and if you do that, it will take you back to the post that you were on a moment ago, and it will have created a link. So let's do that. Okay, now we see it's, it's linked right here, and we can edit it, or we can delete it, or let's add more. So add existing page, and let's add a couple at a time. So let's add a page, and let's add this one right here called favorites. So we've checked both boxes, scroll to the bottom, go to bulk actions, select link and click apply. Okay, now those have all been connected. And if we want, we can drag and drop these into the order that we want them to be displayed. And now we have a couple of options for how we want to display these. The plugin includes a widget and a short code that you can use. So let's go and take a look at the short code. Up here, there's a little button called sub post. We'll click it. We will select the post link that we want, which in this case is post to pages. We'll select the parent which is the post that we're currently on, because what we want to do is show the linked items from this particular post. We're gonna make the child items clickable and we're not going to display the excerpts. Insert the short code, click update, and let's go ahead and view this post. And there they are. You can see the linked pages right there. Now you'll see over here in the sidebar, I also have some other linked pages that I've created, but that's being displayed with the widget. So let's take a look at the widget real quick. Here it is, and it's basically the same thing as a short code. We get to choose the post link, we get to choose the parent, so let's change this over to in a boat now. Click save, and refresh the page over here, and now you can see our, our linked items have been displayed here in the sidebar, as well as down the bottom. Now, this is really, really cool. Um, there's also a PHP function that you can use for displaying these as well if you want to do it directly from your template file. Now, my first criticism of the plugin is simply that I would like to be able to modify the HTML markup that's used here. You'll notice that these are wrapped in H3 tags. H3 tags may not be the optimum markup for you simply because they're, they're large and they're bold. Maybe you want to have these just in a plain list item. So it'd be really cool if there's a simple way to edit the template files. Now, it's very possible that Barry, the developer, can give you a very quick, easy way to do that. I didn't see one initially, but it's a pretty minor criticism. Okay, let's go create a new post type link. So we'll go to sub post, and we'll say create a new post type link. We're gonna give it a slug, and let's call it downloads to post. So I'm running easy digital downloads on this site, and let's imagine for a moment that I want to connect related blog posts to my products. So I will say downloads to post. I'm gonna select the parent post type, which is going to be downloads, and then the child post type is post. We're gonna set it to be not sortable because I want them to automatically show up in the order that I add them. And we're going to 
allow us to, to add new. That means that you can add, you can create a new item directly from the sub post interface. And add existing, yes, click save. Okay, now let's go to the downloads post type. We'll go in here to product A. And let's just hide the easy digital download stuff, hide the excerpt, hide the product notes. And here we see downloads to post. So now let's add an existing post. We're gonna link this one right here. So this blog post was specifically about product A. Maybe it's talking about some changes that happened with the product. Maybe it's talking about um, important things that you should know. It could be anything that we want. Insert this, downloads to post. The post parent is gonna be product A. And let's go ahead and display an excerpt. Insert short code, update. And now let's view this download. And there they are. So you can see a blog post and it gives us an excerpt and we can now go directly to that blog post. So this is sub post. It's a really cool little plugin that allows you to create these kind of relationships. Um, if you've ever used a plugin called post to post, this is a pretty familiar interface and functionality that you might be familiar with. Um, the big difference between post to post and sub post is that post to post is much more of a developer's tool. Um, and it really requires some development knowledge in order to really utilize the plugin. Now, it is a fantastic plugin, don't get me wrong, but one of the nice things about SubPost is that if you're not a developer, you can still really easily create these kind of connections that allow you to interlink your content efficiently and effectively. So, SubPost is $19.99 from subpost.com. It is well worth it. I've known Barry for a little while now. He's done some some work with me on easy digital downloads. He's helped out a little bit. Uh, he's an easy digital downloads user, so I've had some time to talk with him. And he's a solid developer. The code base behind the plugin is great. And he's got a really excellent plugin here. So if you're looking for an easy way to link documentation, link blog posts, or link any kinds of content between post types, even the same post type, you can do post to post or pages to pages, sub post is a really excellent option for you to take a look at.